I don't forget your sins in the one of the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. I trust you all right with me as of another evening. Amen. We bless the Lord. Creating me a cleaner, oh Lord, and renew a right spirit within me. Oh, yeah, creating me. 
Hallelujah. We bless the Lord this evening. Amen. We're going to sing another song. You know, so precious brother. Brother Moses, to have an open this episode of prayer. Amen. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. Thank you. 
take our Bible and uh, we open our Bible in the book of Luke 24. Luke chapter 24. We read from uh, verse 18 uh, up to 27. Let me see. Up to 27. The Bible read this. Luke 24, chapter and verse 18, the Bible read this. And behold, to them, two of them went the same day to a village called Emmaus, which was from Jerusalem about three score fedalongs. Fed and they, they talk together of all this thing which has happened. And it came to pass that while they were coming commit, together and reason, Jesus himself drew near and went with them. But their eyes were holden that they should not know him. And he said unto them, What manner of communication are this that he have one to another, as he walk and a sad? And they, and the one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answering said unto him, Art thou only a stranger in Jerusalem and has not known the things which are pass are come to pass this in this day? And he said unto them, What things? And they said unto him, Concerning Jesus of Nazareth which was a prophet mighty indeed and uh, in word before God and all the people. He they give the testimony of Jesus. He was the right person. They knew that he was a prophet as well. And he was mighty man indeed and in, in the word. Amen. And uh, how the chief priest and our rulers delivered him to, to, con, to be condemned to death and have crucified him but we trust we trusted that he has been he which should have redeemed Israel and beside all of this today it is the third day since these things were done they are counting also the day from the day of the event to the time they were talking about. Amen. Amen. May God help us. Yeah. And concerning and the certain woman also of our company made us astonished, which were early at the couple, at the couple, and uh, when they found not his body, they came saying that they, they has also seen a vision of angel, of angels, which said that he was alive. They are giving the testimony of somebody who is. And a certain and certain of them which were with us went to the Sekapa and went to the Sekapa and found it even so as the woman had said. But he we so not. Then he said unto them, O fools, and slow of hearts to believe. All that the prophets have spoken. How not Christ 
to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory. 27. This is even the main problem. And uh, beginning at Moses and all the prophets, they he expanded, he expanded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. May the Lord bless the reading of the word. You may see that. God bless you richly. This is a particular day, a special day, special for me. It's too special. I find myself preaching on my birthday. Ah, uh, this, this is another thing. I don't want to be like this. <laughs> you know, to preach. <laughs> it's something very difficult. Eh? You know, when you, you can, you can ex explain, you can tell the people stories. Like a Clopas and his friend, whom we don't know the name. The Bible does not give us the name of the, the, the person who was with Clopas. It was easy to speak to this stranger whom they met or who met them on the road when they were going to Emmaus. According to the scripture, Emmaus is not far from uh, Jerusalem where they were coming from. It says uh, about, because they are saying about, they are talking about three scores. It's about nine kilometers, if I'm not mistaken. But nine kilometers people are talking until it is evening time. And uh, they are talking with the stranger. But if you go deeper in the, their discussion, you find that uh, they know the whole story. But they are ignoring some uh, effects of the story. They, they are saying that you don't know what is happening. Are you a stranger in this land of Jerusalem? You don't know what happens, really. A certain man called Jesus of Nazareth. They even, they even spoke about the village where Jesus came from. Jesus of Nazareth. You don't know what happened to him. Our, our priests and our rulers, people are controlling us. People are leading us. They crucified him. So they found the innocent of trust. If you follow their discussion, they were saying that Jesus was a very good man. But they didn't find the reason why he was crucified. Why he was crucified? Say that you don't know what is happening. You don't know the news. It was written in Soweto news. It was put in every news. Everyone knows about it. But are you a stranger? And him also, he was not knowing because when you think about him, he appears. It's always like that. When you think about him, he's there on sin. Yes, Amen. So as they were going, they were going discussing. Then he asked him, he asked them the question, what happened exactly? What is these things? What is these things? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth, he was killed. And today as we are talking, this is the very third day since he was being crucified. But uh, luckily there was a certain woman whom we know. She went early in the morning to the tomb. And they didn't find him. How can you find a living among us dead? Amen. 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 How can you find dead? So these people, they were very sure that Jesus will be somewhere there. Or the body, they will find the body somewhere there. And they said that that woman she reported to us. She said that uh, they went there early in the morning, but they just found the angels. Amen. And the angels said to them that uh, he's, he's alive. 
Amen. Amen. Even the report of the angel through that woman, they didn't believe. So going, they said, but it was also some of us who went also there. And he brought the same reports as the woman. But this one also, he didn't find him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. They were having hope that someone will tell them that he's dead. Amen. I don't know. If they will tell them that he's dead, they will go back. Because everyone was now back on his own business. Amen. Amen. No, there is no time for business now. Amen. 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 The time is finished. Amen. 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 Already I'm seeing that I left only with seven minutes. I didn't even start yet. Amen. 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 You know, it's very also pressure when they, they tell you to say something on Friday. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Friday is actually the day of prayer. But you know when you pray, sometimes you must have things to go with before God. And when you got a good material, when you are speaking, you don't want to go. Because you want to start to open the first box, you empty it. You start with the second one, you empty it. You start with the third one, you empty it. You, the time you arrive to the seventh one, you are praying for an hour. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. So to cut the story in short, until Jesus give them their qualification, say that you are very, very hard to believe and very slow, very slow to act. This is the problem of us Christians of today. We believe only when everyone and we want God to show us everything in peace. No. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, the purpose of God in this Bible, it was God to manifest, God be manifest in the body. God to be manifest in the bride. That is the finality, that, that is the, the finality of all this mystery. God wanted to be in the man. Amen. God wanted to, to be manifest in the man. Actually, in these days, in the bride. Amen. Amen. So we can just read one, uh, one quotation first. See if I can read the second one. And then uh, if we can uh, give it the title, I can say... Uh, the threefold manifestation of God. Amen. Yeah, because uh, the first fourth manifestation uh, of God, which was in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And then uh, now we see the bride. Mm. Everything which, which was God was in the Lord Jesus Christ. And everything which was in the Lord Jesus Christ is put in the bride. It's where we are going. Because he said that the bride of the end time, the bride of the Lord Jesus Christ, we reach perfection. But that perfection is not a makeup perfection. It will come by the word. Because he said that uh, you hear the word, and the word will do that, shall set you free. But when you are not when you are, you are free, you are free of sin. Free of condemnation, free of everything which pertains to this world. Amen. Amen. Then in God, when God sees you, He sees actually His reflection. He found Himself in you. Amen. That is what the purpose of this message. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So we read in the, the message uh, Christ is the mystery of God revealed. Amen. Preach in 1963 07 to 8. And uh, we read the paragraph uh, three, uh, 377. Now, he sanctified with his spirit and blood. A church that he might make 
every purpose, every promise in this last day be revealed. Now see, he could go back and pick up that things other fellows has left of them, of years. Amen. 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 In the last day, and by his Holy Spirit, reveal all the mystery of the seven seeds. See? He is expressing himself. Who is expressing himself? God, through Jesus Christ, expressing himself. Because that was the, uh, the help. That was the objective. That was the, 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 the purpose of whatever God is and what he wanted to achieve is to find himself in Christ. And the whatever he was in Christ to, to be put what? in the man, in the bride. Amen. Amen. That is uh, his purpose. That's why he died. If Christ went to Calvary, it was not for us to get whatever we have. Amen. Although those are very good things we need them in this life. But it was for us to go back to where we were before the foundation of the world. In our position, where they were asking a job question, where were you? We want to go back there. Amen. That is the objective of Christ in us. Amen. Amen. And the objective of why Christ died at the cross. That's the second fall of his threefold manifestation. You see? When he came down, that's the second fold of his threefold manifestation. First, to express himself in Christ. Who? God. So that time, if we were living that time of the Lord Jesus Christ in body, in Jerusalem, and it comes to pass that you meet, you, you have met him on the roads, and you shake his hand, so you are shaking the hand of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. If that time one day, as you was in the house of uh, Simon, invited among us, the, 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 the people who were, uh, uh, were invited in the house of Simon, so you were actually uh, in the same party with the Lord Jesus Christ, with God the Creator. Amen. So that woman, everyone rejected him. Hallelujah. Yes. Everyone didn't see that this is the opportunity yes. of being invited in the same party with the Creator of the universe. Yes. Everyone was just pushing away. Because Isaiah 53 said that he was not having beauty yes. to attract the attention of people. So he was rejected in the corner yes. alone. But he, still, he was the creator of the earth and the heaven. But the only one woman of was fit life, she recognized him and said, hey, I cannot miss this. This is the time for me. And she went to search. She didn't find something very good. And she found just a perfume. She said, no, I will break it. And that, you know what that created? Jesus. And the Judas Iscariot, when he saw that, he said, Hey, this opportunity for invest. This is the investment. Who could take this perfume and sell it and get money and invest in, uh, uh, you know, there is a lot of business in these days. Amen. Amen. <laughs> yeah? No, you cannot see opportunity only to live, to live, to live in this world. See also opportunity to go in heaven. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Sometimes when you are interested that this will right be now. my last time to hear this. Amen. 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 Maybe let me let me turn to this one. Maybe I can go also. Amen. Yeah. Amen. He was rejected. Mm. Abandoned. Mm. And he was alone in the corner. But one woman recognized him. And remember that the woman is always the church. Amen. Amen. So that right church recognized him. And uh, she was not the same. Amen. Hallelujah. Today, everyone is speaking about that church. Amen. 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 So, we continue with uh, our quote. Uh, then, um, yeah, to reveal, to express himself through the church. 
And uh, the same thing, grass was the word, and it was the church becomes the word when it left the word go through them. When Jesus said the word, the Bible said that the way he said, the, the, the brother Abraham said that when uh, to whom, no, the Bible said to whom he has said the word, he has made them God. Yeah, you know, when you receive the word, you believe the entire word of God, not choosing some other parts you put it aside, so that this one cannot fit me. No, you cannot make the word to fit you. You must go to the word and try yourself to fit the word of God. Hallelujah! You no, don't cut the word to your pattern. Amen. Cut yourself if you can to be on the pattern of the word. Amen. Amen. Because Amen. even Moses, when they ask him, let us go back. Because every time the Lord Jesus Christ class is taking the people or the disciples to the beginning. Because at the beginning it was not so. But at the beginning it was original. Everything was on his position. Amen. Until the woman said, then it became a problem. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Now he has now to look the way to come back to reconcile the world with himself. That was the purpose of God Amen. after the falling. But before the falling, everything was in order. That when they were asking the Lord Jesus questions, trying to thank him, trying to see if he could give them the right to do wrong. Amen. Amen. Yeah, it's what people they want. Yeah. People they want to, to, be, to push you to, to, to give them the right to do wrong. Amen. Amen. But the word from Genesis to the Revelation, there is no place for the right to do wrong. Amen. Amen. Yes, you cannot do wrong in the word of God. Amen. Everything is perfect. Amen. And God has the plan for us. But what, what plan? The plan of seeing us going back to him. Because he created us to his own image. Amen. We're looking like him. Amen. But we lost that because of the folly. Because of sin. Amen. I didn't even start that. I have got too much to say. Yeah. Let me try to, to go to the second. Okay, let us let us read the Bible in John. Just to support what we are saying now. Uh, if you can read uh, John uh, 1 John. Uh, first John 1. Okay, just project here because I want again to, to look for it. First John 1. What the Bible says there. <laughs> and uh, after that, we we'll go to John 1.18. Because I was saying that uh, if you could see Jesus at that time and you shake the hand of Jesus, you have shaken the hand of God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Maybe someone didn't believe that, but the Bible says that. Amen. 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 Let us go to, to 1 John. Okay. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which have looked upon, and our hands have ended of the word of life. How, how the hand can end the word? The word, the word is invisible. Now they say that uh, what we have heard, our hand has handled it. Amen. You can handle something until it becomes material. Right? Yes. Amen. Yeah. So, when uh, you, you have seen Jesus and you shake his hand, you have, you have of God the Creator looking for a body to come in. And the only body he found to come in was the body of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Is what the scripture said there. But somewhere in the Bible, I believe it's uh, John, uh, John 1 18. The Bible said that uh, no one has seen God at any time. Let us see the, 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 the scripture. Amen. Amen. But God cannot contradict himself. It depends on how you have seen him. 
Because now a lot of things, now a lot of people they are saying that he has spoken to me. Ah. I'll see him. Ah. Ah. You, you, you have seen God and then you still live him. Ah. I remember that there was one person in the Bible. He asked too much. He wanted to see God. Moses wanted to see God. And God said that, Moses, you want to see how, why, why you want to rush? Through this time, Moses wanted to see God. And God said, okay, you'll see me. You'll see me. I will pass now, now. And then he saw the back of the man. Hallelujah. It's what the Bible said. That he saw the back of the man. That was God. He just saw the, the back. Hallelujah. Yeah, man. But uh, Moses himself was made God. God promised the children of God that I will come and I will take you from Egypt by my mighty hand. So the mighty hand of God was who? Moses. Yeah, man. Yeah, do you believe that? Yeah, the mighty hand of God was Moses that time. And God uses Moses to take the children of God out and Moses was believing that it was not his own power. It was the power of God. Because he used this power. But at the same time, he wanted to see God. Ah. But God, Moses, you have seen him in your life. You really use him. And the people they believe in you. And you still want to see him. Hallelujah. Yeah, that, that, that is the mind of man. Amen. Amen. Yeah. That way in the Bible, in Matthew 24, they said that they shall arise. Yeah, they are speaking about the future, that there will be time. It's in this time in which we are living now. They shall arise false prophets. They will do wonders. They will do things. And the people want to see. They will go there. Amen. Because they want to, to see. They want to see God. They want to touch God. But no, this is not the time of touching God every way. God is in you. Amen. Yeah, but you are worshiping the God who is in you. Praise the Lord. Because the devil himself said that uh, the God Christ revealed the mystery of God revealed. So does he not reveal something which is not active? Amen. You know when they make a statue of someone or the statue of something of some animals or whatever, and they want to commemorate something, they will cover that. It must be veiled. It must be veiled until they unveil it. Then you know what is it. Amen. So in this time, as you are not looking to see that God, whom you can touch and whatever, God is in you. Amen. Amen. When you come from your place, you live with God here. Amen. You have him here. And you want to worship him well. He here in his tabernacle. Amen. Because the Bible says that even if this tabernacle is strong, there is another one. And this tabernacle here is temporary. When we take it out, we put on immortality. Amen. The day we are going back to him is we were there before the foundation of the way. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Ah, no, I did not go because we need to pray. May the Lord God bless you richly. That's a reason for that we need to pray. Amen. Now it's time of demonstration of what we have heard. Because every time when the Lord Jesus Christ was coming across a situation and someone was healed, he was saying, your faith has healed you. So the faith you got from not Brother Cassandra, from the word of God, this word of God is here. Amen. And Amen. this word of God has become a man in you. Now speak to that inner man in you. Speak and believe that whatever you ask, if you don't doubt, I will say it, and you want to speak to this mountain. I don't know which mountain is on your way. Amen. Maybe the mountain is just in the middle of your road. And then you want to stop first and go back and come and jump the mountain. But this time around, let me tell you that there is only one possibility, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And to reach to him, 
just by one exercise I repentance because if you are sick and you are forbidden you cannot see God in sin because in him there is no shadow of darkness Amen. Amen. so we are going to pray I want that song what the brother was uh, singing here before just I can I know my Lord brother can you help us with the song then we sing and you can pray as you feel that you can take the position you feel that you are comfortable with speak to the God inside you we will respond to you you know we are the most privileged people I'm telling you if you can imagine of this play when you are reading the Bible actually you see the clear picture that you were there these are the people that were troubled Clopas they were troubled they said that their eyes is not their, their fault their eyes were closed because when it comes to the evening time when it comes to the evening time now the eyes were opened and on the breaking of the breads we are exactly in the evening time so our eyes is not closed our eyes of understanding are opened so we can use it as much as we can like Jacob said that I will not leave you unless you bless me Amen and that angel didn't want the sun arose in him on him when he was again on the ground but brother Branham said that these angels they were not coming from heaven actually they were coming from the ground from the, 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 the uh, from down up to heavens because he said that the angel were coming from down up and down up so this angel was found by um, Jacob down he said that I cannot leave you until you bless me now the angel was saying no 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 I cannot okay let me bless you and he was the same the very same person in the Bible there was also the widow who was following the church said that no give me my rights every day until the judge did what give the right amen I, I believe today is that my case also I want not I don't want to leave the Lord I don't want to leave the angel of the Lord until he blessed me and the blessing remember is to open first eyes of understanding so that you'll pray correctly you'll pray for correct things may the lord god bless you and giving us the song to go into prayer amen, amen.